Now, why does the public good cause a problem for markets? Well, the main reason is to be found in what economists refer to as the free rider problem. Let's suppose that it costs £1 million for a lighthouse to be built and for it to run each year. Now let's suppose that six shipping companies get half a million pounds worth of benefits from the provision of the lighthouse in that their boats don't crash on the rocks. Then we have three million pounds worth of benefits for one million pounds worth of costs. It's clearly a good use of society's scarce resources. It should be provided. Will the market provide it? Probably not. No company will be willing to invest in the lighthouse because they have no way of charging the companies for its use. Once it's provided, the company will simply refuse to pay, knowing that it can consume the benefits without incurring the costs. The provider of the public good will not be able to cover costs by charging who may choose to free ride, that is to say, consume without paying. Since I can get the benefit of the street lighting without paying for it, I may choose to free ride upon the consumption of that good. So the free rider problem prevents markets from efficiently producing an optimal quantity of a public good.